types of electric motors electric motors dc motors ac motors others motors in dc motors shunt motor separately excited motor this series motor permanent magnet dc pm dc compound motor in ac motors uh, we have induction motor synchronous motor other motors uh, have a stepper motor brushless dc motor high hysteresis motor reluctance motor universal motor dc motor dc motor is shunt dc motor the rotor and stator windings are connected in parallel in separately excited motor the rotor and stator are each connected from a different power supply this gives another degree of freedom for controlling the motor over the shunt series motor the stator and rotor windings are connected in series thus the torque is proportional to i square so it gives the highest torque per current ratio overall other dc motors it is therefore used to in stator motors of cars and elevators motors like a 563 Chapman Fori 2005 Mac McGrahill Permanent Magnet Motors The stator is permanent magnet so the motor is smaller in size disadvantage only used for low torque applications compound motors the stator is connected to the rotor through a compound of shunt and series windings or if the shunt and series winding add up together the motor is called commutative compound if they subtract from each other then a differentially compound motor results which is unsuitable for any applications this is a shunt this is a series motor and this is a compound motor disadvantage of dc motor brush wear since they need brushes to connect the rotor winding brush wear occurs and it is increased dramatically in low pressure environment so they cannot be used in artificial hearts if used on aircraft the brushes will need replacement after one hour of operation sparks from the brushes make the explosion if the environment contains explosive materials arc noise from the brushes may interfere with nearby tv sets or electronic devices etc the ac machine have a induction motor and synchronous motors the induction motors are called because voltage is induced in the rotor but for this to happen the rotor must rotate at a lower speed than the magnetic field to allow for the existence of an induced voltage therefore an, a new term is needed to describe the induction motor the slip in synchronous motor to call because rotor tries to line up with the rotating magnetic field in the stator it has the stator or induction motor and the rotor of a dc motor in ac machines accurate presentation of a 6 pole three phase ac induction motor synchronous machine three phase rotating field synchronous motor three phase rotating fields require three pairs of winding x of 20 degree apart another by voltage that also have x of 20 degree phase displacement synchronous motor are especially designed to maintain constant speed fit the rotor synchronous to rotating field synchronous motor requires modification such as squirrel catch winding to be self starting <coughs> reluctance motor a synchronous induction motor the rotor has silent pulse and catch so that it is start like an induction motor and runs like a synchronous motor other motor is reluctance motor is hydraulic motor stable motor display dc motor and universal motor 